Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Extend Script Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to update and change keyframe velocities. Now, it's quite easy to apply keyframes in After Effects, but changing their velocities so that they have different animation or graph values uh, is something that not as many people use. So today we're going to be taking this original comp of this basically portrait spinning around using position keyframes and we're going to be changing it with a script to automate and randomize these values which you can see creates a nice and different look. So the way this script is going to simply work is by running through all of the keyframes of any given value and each time through we can either set them to a custom keyframe ease object so you can right click on a keyframe and go to keyframe velocity and see two different keyframe objects here one for the incoming and outgoing velocities. Uh, you basically have to put in the speed and the influence, which in this case is 0 and 33.3. .3. And then you can also have one for the outgoing, which we have as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. I have a composition here and our layer, which is just has some position keyframes to move it around the composition. These are the default ones. I haven't changed them at all. And what we're going to do is just run through and change them all. So if you refer to the guide on page 84, at least in this particular version, we can create a new keyframe object by just calling new keyframe ease with the speed and influence. And it will tell us the range that we can set the speed and influence to. And then essentially based on that, we can apply it to any property. Now it should be noted that sometimes you need to give it more than one of the same keyframe object. For example, scale requires three because almost always with scale, you have X, Y, and Z and they're just hidden. For position, you just need one object. So for this particular tutorial, we just need to apply one ease object for in and out. So then we have a variable for our composition set up here, which is just our active comp. And our layer is our first layer in our composition. And then we set up a variable to store our position, which is just uh, the one with our keyframes here. Then we're going to loop through the num keys in our position uh, property. And what this will do is go through keyframe number one, keyframe number two, keyframe number three, etc. And what are we going to do each time we come across one of these keyframes? We're going to say set temporal ease at key. This is a built in function that allows us to basically add a curve and adjust the speed or apply any of these to it. So we need to give it three different arguments. The first of which is the key num that we are giving it. But since we're just doing a for loop through these keys, we'll give it I. If you wanted to do a specific keyframe, you can type in the number of the keyframe that it occurs. But in this case, we'll just do it for each one. Then in brackets, we're going to apply our ease in object. And the third argument is to apply our ease out object in brackets. Again, you can use the same ones to uh, save on space and code, but it's also good to keep track of them separately. So that's basically the way it works. If I was to uh, go ahead and run this, you can see it goes through and applies the same easing to all of these keys. And if we look at the graph before and after, you can see how it's changing things. Now let's go ahead and uncomment this code here where I take our ease in and ease out variables and I go ahead and randomize the speed and the influence of the, both of the keyframes, basically between zero and eight and then zero and 50. So I'll go ahead and run the script. And now let's have a look that we've randomized at the before and after of our graph. We can actually just keep randomizing it here to get different graph looks. And uh, this will continue to just randomize all of the keyframes for any position or other value you give it. So yeah, that's actually going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you apply keyframe velocities and influence inside of Extend Script by using the set temporal ease at key method. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Leave the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And of course, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.